first thing I remember actually wanting to be was a translator. I loved languages, uh, even from a very young age. Um, but I was also always outdoors in the, the wild, and I had a great interest in the natural world. Um, I do remember by the time I was in high school, I wanted to be an astronaut, specifically an astronaut. I have actually. I have. Uh, I used to dance ballet specifically when I was young, um, and uh, I really loved that. I've studied art, uh, philosophy, um, and languages, of course, because that was my that was one of my first loves. The thing that I think is most interesting about science is is undoubtedly curiosity. Curiosity, uh, and, and everybody has a sense of curiosity, and science allows you to explore that natural tendency. And so you can ask questions, and when you become trained in science, you can put that curiosity to amazing ends, to amazing work. So I think curiosity is what drives and motivates, I think, the wonder of, of, of science. I have to say, um, because the scientific method is rigorous, sometimes there are pieces of it that can be very tedious. And that probably is, uh, is the trait that I find least appealing and yet entirely necessary, but it's not perhaps as much fun. Well, I think honesty probably is... is uh, is the most important thing. I mean, honesty at levels that are deep to ourselves. Boredom. <laughs> oh, I'd love to sing. <laughs> Maybe that I'm not fierce, but I actually am. <laughs> Unusual times, that's certainly true. Um, I, I think it would be helpful if people remember that science will get us through this eventually, um, but they need to be aware that science is often circuitous. It's not easy, there are no easy answers here. And when there's so much of an information barrage, um, searching for something, some answers for this, this terrible pandemic. Um, I think people need to remember that it's not going to be simple, it's not going to be easy, uh, that, that there's no easy answer here, but the rigor of science um, it will, will see, you know, will find answers to these things. But it's not one answer, it's going to be complicated. There are answers, you know, there's there's a lot of rigorous work that needs to be done to understand this virus, to understand the human response to it, to remember that every human is different and there's a wide variety of responses, to look at the multitudinous impacts on our daily lives, on our, our, on our psyche, on our economics and so on. So, so I think that people need to remember that and how complicated it is. a tree, maybe a high tree, that can look down on a, on a landscape, on a vista, but not from too high, not from a mountain or space or something like that, but just high enough to get an entirely different perspective on things.